When I was young, my father would read to me the histories, the deeds of the greats before us and the wanderings of the gods. But there was one story that he loved to tell the most, of great Theseus and the foul Minotaur of Crete. Theseus was a cunning man. To see his way through the labyrinth and find his way out after slaying the Minotaur. My father himself lived in a labyrinth. A labyrinth of court, unrest and war. But he had no thread to lead him out. And further and further he delved, trying to slay the beast. By the time he passed, the beast was wounded but not slain and he was lost in the labyrinth of his burdens. When he died, he passed the torch to me to go and slay our beast. That beast is the Ptolemies and their foolish ideas of grandeur. But unlike my father, I plan to bring thread as I go down into the labyrinth. That thread is my sons, my brother and my loyal troops. A whole army of thread that shows me the way from the maze. The maze of pain, suffering and the weight of my burdens. And now that I have my thread, blessed by Apollo, I must be brave like Theseus. Bold I must be to mortally wound the beast. And thus, my army marches on a target that will break the Ptolemies once and for all. The great city of Memphis, the capital of Egypt, that stands by monuments to heroes millennia past. So, we march on, further and further down the labyrinth until the beast is dead. I just hope by the time the death and destruction ends that I have not lost the thread like my father. To Memphis then, it is time to slay a beast. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. So make sure you like down below for episode 10. And make sure you, you comment how you've been enjoying this series, which parts you've been enjoying, and where you think we're going from here. Uh, and the first things first, guys, we are going to be doing a Toggle Fog of War. Now, I've thought about this. I will be looking at our border regions, not necessarily to change our tactics in any way, because I believe our tactics are working. But just to see where their settlements are, because obviously it's a brand new map. I have played a little bit on, on my own. Um... But predominantly, the, the nations I've played on my own is Bactria. So I kind of know a little bit of where the Bactrian settlements are. But I need a bit of a uh, refreshing. Um, I have played Rome on my own. So that's not going to help us up in this region. Um, so I really don't know where many of the settlements are. So I kind of need to know. Because it is a disadvantage not knowing. You can just follow the roads like we know. But it will also be good to see how the AI is doing. And what they've been doing as well. Uh, because generally, the AI decides... That they're going to do crazy stuff. Um, sometimes. Uh, like, for example, in my Sparta campaign, Seleuc the Seleucids got split in half. And they basically just left all their armies. They had about five full stacks over here. No armies over this way. And um, Egypt was just destroying them. And they were not sending armies that way. So they, they tend to do some crazy stuff every now and then. So let's start in the far northeast. Let's go up to the Sarka. Or the Saba, or what are they called in, in this mod? Yeah, the Saka. Um, looks very much like they haven't done anything. Which is good for me, because... Oh no, they've come down and taken uh, Talats. They normally do that straight away anyway. Um, but it's good for me, because the Saka... Oh, they have three settlements now. Where's the other one? So, yeah. Oh, okay, there we are. They're pretty much the same name as well. Uh, but that's great for me because they're really not doing anything. Uh, and they're a very, very hard people to take on. Similarly with Parthia. You can see they've got some big armies over there. But they have been fighting Bactria for a while. And you can see they have this region here. Wait, is that on the map? Like, it does On the map it doesn't look like they're bordering, but... It's probably just because that's such a tiny... Yeah, it's a tiny region. You can't really tell. Um, 
So they are bordering Bactria, but if those armies come down and attack us, we literally have no answer to them. The only thing we can do is defensive sieges. But of course, they just have Nisa still. They've not really been doing much. Bactria, on the other hand, has done a little bit. They have expanded out this way. Um, and they have... So the place they attacked was here. So it does look like we did kill that army. It doesn't look like they retreated. Uh, but that's a bit scary, those Parthian armies being there, because we are very weak in this area. Uh, but yeah, Bactria is just up in the northeast, so if we want to fight them, we pretty much have to follow this road. Okay, that's fine by me. I'm not too bothered by that. This is going to be a bloody and brutal war, and last forever. Uh, so it's really going to be a war of attrition, so I'm not really going to be so aggressive with it. I'm more going to be like taking a settlement... Singing, sitting in it for a little while, seeing whether they'll attack, that sort of thing. Similarly with Parthia, all, we really just need to defend against them. Their armies are obscenely powerful early game. Horse archer based armies, and we have no answers to horse archers right now, apart from our own archers. Um, so we will have to recruit a load of archers uh, just to fight them. Of course, out in the east, no one has this territory. And you can see there's a load of territory um, over here. Coming down into India. So, yeah, it would be nice to take that someday. But today is not that day. We are not rich enough yet. Uh, let's have a look at the Ptolemies. So, in terms of what they have, they do have Cyprus still. And it's, yeah, it's four settlements on Cyprus. So, those would be rich settlements. They have these couple of islands, like we can see. Rhodes has over there. Oh, Crete would be great to take as well. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven settlements on Crete. All ready with ports, ready to pump out money. That might have to be done very soon before anyone else jumps on this. But you can see uh, Ptolemies have these couple of islands as well. That one's a rebel island, Chios. That must have rebelled from them. Um, in terms of the Ptolemies over here, though, I think that's it. Yeah, I think, oh, the Greek city-states are doing a good job. I, I like that. They've expanded one settlement. Nice. But yeah, in terms of the Ptolemies over here, not much. Just some islands, so we will have to go and take them at some point. I don't believe these islands will, like, border the Antigonids, so I don't think the Antigonids will attack us if we take them. Uh, but it would be really nice to take Rhodes, uh, Cyprus, uh, sorry, Cyprus and Crete all in one go. Uh, but of course, we are going to fight the Cappadocians first. The Crappadocians. We are going to slap a Dochian, the Crappadocians into non-existence, uh, which will be great. Armenia. Armenia is kind of staying pretty stable right now. Hoping they don't come and attack me because I really can't afford another front to fight, especially when we're not making a lot of money anymore. Um, but yeah, that's pretty stable. Atropatine, which is our ally, is pretty stable as well. They're just staying still. I think they might be at war with Armenia, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then obviously Crappadocia in the middle. I'm not doing much. Just staying pretty stable. And we're going to go and destroy them quite soon. The Galatians are doing fine. I I'm quite pleased with the Galatians. This area over here... There's three rebel settlements in the middle here, which would be very nice to take at some point. But, uh, of course, like I said, Crappadocians first. And then I really have to decide. Wait, they've taken over here as well. God damn, that's annoying. That's kind of split. That means we're going to board a Pontus, which not something I want to do, really. But if we can take out all three of these guys in kind of a few successive wars, we should be good. Uh, but that's going to take a while. So I'm hoping we can get the war out, out, over the way, uh, out of the way with uh, the Crappadocians first. And yeah. But this area, I really want to go and take this. It's not well defended either, but uh, we'll shall see. Now let's have a look at the Ptolemies over here. Yeah, they have one settlement there next to Alexandria. And then pretty much it's just straight down the Nile for settlements. Um have settlements over there but there's not many so it's just uh, just having a look just to make sure that i'm i'm not you know um going completely in the wrong direction because that's kind of gamey 
uh, isn't it? If we just get sent in the wrong direction. Then all the way down the Nile. They still have their colonies down here. So we probably will destroy them without fully destroying them. They'll still have colonies and stuff down here. But there'll be nothing to worry about at that point. So killing them outright might not be something that we really want to do like right away. Just because... I don't really want to come down here and take these lands. Like, they're so far from anything. They're not going to be useful at all. Um, they're going to be so racked with corruption and unrest that it's really not worth it. Uh, but yeah, we will, uh, we will have to come down the Nile. I will go all the way down the Nile to the end of their settlements. That'll be fine. Uh, there's another settlement there as well. But yeah, Ptolemies are pretty much dying, which is great for us. Um, let's have a look. Scythia. Scythia. How is Scythia doing? Yeah, Scythia is doing quite well. They've expanded into the north. Bit of a weird direction for expansion, but there's plenty of settlements around them where they can uh, take some more. This one's even called Scythia, so that's it. They're doing fine. The Bosporans, on the other hand, I don't believe... I believe they start with more than that. I thought they started with... This whole region. So maybe the Bosporans are doing pretty poorly. They don't look great. And they are at war with Scythia. I'm kind of scared about Scythia though. Or the Seraki, should I say, in this uh, mod. Uh, coming down past uh, the Caucasus. And, yeah, attacking us in northern Anatolia when we have all of Anatolia. That would not be good. Right, let's have a look at Greece. And, well, sort of northern Greece to start with. And you can see the uh, Getai have a little bit of a uh, empire over here. Quite nice. Quite a big region, really. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, these guys. Tylus. Um, they're doing not great. They're going to get killed by the Getai pretty soon. Same as the Adrissians, honestly. If they don't buck up, they're going to be uh, in a bad way. The Antigonids... They still dominate this region. And it doesn't look like they've really lost much territory. In fact, it kind of looks like... Yeah, they've expanded. They've expanded. Yeah, they've expanded quite a bit, honestly. So, fair play to them. Everyone else, all the little bitty uh, guys trying to fight them back. But it looks like the Antigonids are going to have hegemony over all of Greece soon. Epirus looks okay. But they are under threat from the Ardai, Ardai, Ardai. Um, yeah, they are under threat from the Ardai. And the Skordiski have a couple of regions, not too many. The Ardai are, are kind of... I think they're going to dominate Illyria. Rome, still not beaten Syracuse yet, which is shocking to me. And Syracuse looks like they're beating back Carthage. So, they might be doing a job for Rome there, honestly. But yeah, Rome has really not done that much. They've taken the rebel settlements, but apart from that, pretty poor from Rome. And not even destroyed the boy in this area. You can see the boy over here. Uh, but let's have a look around this region. So, the Allobroges have a nice little uh, couple of settlements. A few settlements in this region. Uh, Massalia is doing okay. Not really. They're going to die soon. Um, and the Arverni. The Arverni have carved themselves out a little nice empire in Gaul. They'll probably be quite rich, honestly, looking at the amount of settlements they have. And they're advancing, taking more. So well done to them. But it's the uh, Aedui that have really kind of stamped in this area. And then the, uh, the Belgae. Massive empire in the north here, going all the way down to uh, Taradunum, just north of the Alps. So, this is going to be a battle royale over here in the uh, the barbarian lands. And you can see the Volkai as well, got a bit of an empire. Same as the uh, Chatti. Say the uh, Suebi probably look the weakest out of this bunch up here. I mean, they do come all the way up to the Kimri. Uh, probably the Kimbri and the Suebi are the two weakest, but the uh, Lugiai, they've got a pretty nice empire as well. So it really is going to be Battle Royale for the uh, 
barbarians in this region. They're all going to be struggling for these rest of the rebel provinces in this area. And they're all going to be fighting each other. That's kind of great to see. Obviously, the Bretons, they've not done that much. They've, they've just stayed. Um, let's have a look at Iberia. Ars, of course, we love the settlement of Ars. Um, but the Editani are doing fine. Everyone, again, kind of touching each other. So it's going to be Battle Royale as well. We have the uh, Lusitanians and we have the Aravachi. The Aravachi generally are very strong and they look the strongest in this region right now. So they'll probably do the best. Now let's have a look at Carthage. Carthage has actually expanded its uh, Iberian land. So well done to them. Um, and they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Molo Chath. That's a name. That sounds like like a servant of Melkor. <laughs> Molo Chath. Um, which one of these is Massilii? Massilii are, are screwed, really, aren't they? they? They've got one settlement? Or do they have another? Yeah, they're screwed. Oh, no. They have, for some reason, they have this one. But they have these ones over here. They're actually piling on the pressure to Carthage. Well done, Massilii. Uh, the Mesa Celii <laughs> have not done much. So, Massilii are doing really well. And they could be a very big player at some point. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everyone. We covered everyone, right? Yes. Well, so in terms of our fog of war, we know that the Parthia are coming for us. It doesn't change our tactics anyway because... We're just trying to build sort of a defensive army and then an army to go and fight Bactria. Uh, but they, Bactria have a big army here as well. I would like to come and take this region. Would be quite nice. And then obviously the rest of this region and Parthia as well. But we just don't have the resources right now. So pretty much it's going to be defending Antioch uh, Marginai. As well as Isonian is going to be the thing that we're going to have to do. Um... But yeah, down south, I just wanted to see where the settlements are. So there's that Raithu, there's these three, there's those, and then there's it's just down the Nile, pretty much. You've got ones that come out into the desert, but I don't think we'll worry too much about them. We might nip in and take them, but we'll see. So let's uh, get rid of the toggle fog of war. I know that's taken a while, guys, but I do like to see what the AI's been doing. It's always interesting. And there we are, back to uh, blissful ignorance and darkness. Um, I think we wait one more turn for that, like I said. Over here, retraining, aren't we? Would be nice to recruit someone else, especially an archer. But that's fine. This army's coming down. We're going up to speak to the... I think we should get an alliance with the Scythians, honestly. Oh, goddamn Ptolemies. Leave my boys alone. They're literally just wanting to... They literally just want to garrison a city, bro. Why also, why have you skipped out my army down there? Ugh. Goddamn Ptolemies. Always have to be dickheads, don't they? Always. Literally always. I kind of want trade agreements with, like, as many people as possible. The Bosporans especially. Uh, but, yeah, the Scythians as well. Because they will have coastal provinces soon, I believe. Our money situation does kind of lend itself. Because Cappadocia is being so passive right now. I am kind of thinking that... Did I speak to the Getai? Trade rights, bro, yeah. Generous proposal. Alliance? We see no benefit to us. Uh, I'll sell you some map information now. Make, uh, like 2,500, bro. Would you consider? Yeah, I'll take that. Our thanks. Extra money. I'll take that. Um, so... Now, the Cappadocians are being very, very passive. So it kind of really does tempt me to go and take Cyprus. I don't think it's going to make a difference in the Cappadocian War if I go and take Cyprus. Auto sort those boys. Auto sort you as well. So we have Alcaeus, yeah, Ariathus. So let's leave an Akontistai behind. Let's get you in. We will have to go and fight that rebel army, though. Oh, let's get you ready to fight the rebel army. Oh, they ran away. Oh, wait. We can't even attack them this turn. Goddamn. But after that, I think we will go for Cyprus. 
and potentially straight after that, Crete, and just kind of border with the Cappadocians and, and maybe recruit a few more men in this area. Especially once we've got this, we can recruit um, archers, so that'll be a lot better. Right, who's rioting? Antiochi, Meandros. That should sort that out. Yeah. Another town grows. Abydos. Good. Wait, do you have two generals in? Why do you have two generals? Maybe coming of age. Okay, Nippur. Right, we've got governors in pretty much all of these now, haven't we? Not there. So you go and uh, govern, my friend. 16-year-old governor. And yeah, you were there. So, Antisthenes. It's nice having governors everywhere. Really does help out. I think we'll put you in Alexander Troas. Yeah. Cool. Faction announcements. Good. Constructions. Ooh, Susa got its upgrade. Very nice. Anything here that we want to build? Probably the trade caravan. Only 145 in Susa, though. Paved roads, 110. I mean, the trade caravan's cheaper than the paved roads and makes more. That doesn't make that much. What about this? I think the trade caravan. It only takes three turns as well. So that's pretty good. Seleucia, let's go for... We're only on turn 37, guys. God damn it, that is not a lot of turns. I think in Jerusalem, were we thinking about building a recruitment hub? Oh, we can do a trade caravan here as well. Oh, that makes a lot of money. Yeah, let's do that. Jerusalem, what a boy of a territory. Uh, oh, we were making Samaria into a recruitment hub, so... I mean, I, as I said before, we need to focus on uh, on our economy. Uh, we need to find places that, that do mines. Because it's just a straight-up amount of cash. But I think we'll go for a land clearance, though. How much is that? I'm at 234, 10 turns to repay. Well, a bit more than 10 turns to repay itself, but that's that's fine. I think the last amount we'll just spend on a trader down here. Cool. Ah, it's so annoying that that god, they bloody... Uh, retraining them is not going to make a difference here. Judea, can I train them? No. That's just really annoying. Merge them. And uh, we'll get rid of you. Well, I guess we'll have to garrison someone else in there. Uh, are we good up here now? We are. So, time to go. And we'll ha pretty much have a secondary army anyway. I think... Yeah. Yeah, we will in Samaria have to start recruiting some of those Greek Peltasts. It's too far to go all the way back to Damascus. Ah, oh, it's, it's yeah, it's such a long way. Oh, God, it's a bit annoying though. We're, we're running out of garrison troops, and it's a long way for them to walk. Um, up here we have this army. Oh. God damn you, Atropatine. Prepare for battle. Yes, Stratigos. Forward. I'm hoping they lose. If they siege it down and lose, they will have weakened that garrison quite considerably. And we can uh we can go and jump on in there. That that is gonna be a scourge on our map though. They are kind of our allies, so that's fine, but it's not really great, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's not great to... Who was building? Yeah, you've still got two turns, so that's fine. Uh, and, yeah. We'll end the turn, then. Oh, I didn't look at Kyrene to see whether Kyrene exists, but I don't think the Ptolemies have taken off Kyrene, so... 
I guess they still exist. So fine. Good. Well done, Kyrene. You're doing well. Existing, honestly. I have uh, played a little bit as Kyrene. Can tell you it's quite hard. <laughs> hard in a different way to, to us, for example, to the Seleucids. But it is difficult. Very difficult. Um, you have the Ptolemies right next to you wanting to kill you. At war with you at the start of the game. Okay. Theodotus has died. That's sad. Oh, well. Poor Theodotus. Iconium, we built that. So let us... Queue a couple of the archers in. Because Zekios is upgraded. Oh, I long for the days when we can build in every one of our settlements. I long for those days. But we are only on turn uh, 38. Not far, not far along. Oh, hello. Do you want to attack me, bro? It's only got three turns left, so I'm kind of thinking maybe leave it. I'm going to risk sending one of these guys out again. Risky, but... Risky, but it might work. I don't know. We'll see. Where was it that we could recruit? Uh, they're expensive, though. That is the problem. Oh, I left these guys out in the open. Maybe should not have done that. <laughs> hey, these guys retrained to get a gold star. 17 missile attack. That's brutal. That is genuinely brutal. Um, I mean... I don't really want to fight that. 72 is acceptable. I don't think it was worth it to fight that. It was such a small battle. Um, so we might fight this battle next turn then if, if they don't attack us. Uh, and then our army at Ekbatana. Can we, if we, can we like sneak in? We can't. We can't help them in this siege. It's a little bit annoying that, isn't it? What have they got? Oh my god. General stack and a half. Atropatine. Would be nice to kill you, you know. I just don't want this border gore, bro. It'll be horrible. Horrifying border gore. Not what I'm what not what I'm here for. Um I think we start upgrading our roads through this region. I'll get the trade caravan there, though, if you can. That's what we'll spend our money on. Babylon, have we got anything we can buy? Get the shrine to Taiki. Or Taiki. Yeah, I don't think... There's another settlement here. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Well, there is a road going that way. Wait. Oh, no. That is Kyrene. That's Kyrene territory. So Kyrene does exist, and they, they still have all their territory. Well done to them. Yeah, we'll wait another turn. Yeah, they're going to attack. That's good. That's good. Good. Thank you. We can defend. And hopefully they actually attack us. This They get so many missile troops in every army they make. And we know this army pretty much can die. So, they'll both be coming from behind me. So, I'm kind of tempted to just... Set up at the back and kill them as they come in. But anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. It's raining again in the desert. Why does it keep raining? There's a lot of rain for the desert, bro. Oh, I am tempted to just... Where, where's the settlement? Can we see it? Can't see it. 
I am tempted to just kill these guys as they come in. I think that's the best option. Sutter's in the corner, though. So where would they be coming from? Would they be coming from over here? I don't know. We'll probably have to spread out. They're not gonna. T they're gonna take their time coming to us, the other army. So we'll use our cavalry kind of as a screen behind. Uh, and these guys can. Uh, send it. Yeah, they are coming in directly here. Come on, then, boys, get in. Enjoy this justice that will be met upon you with steel. I don't know what that means, but I don't think that's a real. Those are real words. We'll uh, block you in. Yeah, they're miles away. Can you uh, guys run, please? Is that running? Run! God, I pressed R about four times there. Right, we'll have to get our cavalry into this now. Yeah, it's going to shred those Rapparoi a little bit. Worst side for the Therapoi to have been on, to be honest. But it's fine. Kill this guy. That's both their generals. He's he's routing. Ideally, we don't want anyone to survive. So it's a bit annoying that if they do, but it's fine. Yeah, he's dead. Well, we'll kill like most of them. Get that guy. 17 of his men. What's that? Matroy Foroy. Okay, they've gone for the charge over here as well. That's okay. Theroparoi there. Fighting Greek Hoplites. Let's go. Have we killed him yet? Who are we fighting in here? Oh, get this guy. How are they doing? They're still taking their time. Okay, we made them routes. Good. So I don't think we're going to take the city with this, but none of them, none of uh, these other armies can can uh, retreat to the city. That's the great thing, because we are sieging it down. Oh, they got a bit of a uh, prodromoid charge in the back there. This army's going to be a bit battered now. Let's get that prodromoid. Theroparoi, let's get you in as well. Kill them. We'll get our uh, guys out in front. Says it's even still, but I, I think that's bollocks. <laughs> yeah, we're killing so many of them now. These guys are fighting to the death. General out. Anyone else? How about these guys? Come this way. I need to kill them. I hate them. Where are you going now, bro? Which way are you going? Because anywhere you go, bro, we're going to have the boys. I'm going to corner you and kill you all. Kill those hoplites. How are we doing over here? I think it's time you guys got back in the action. Go, go, go. This is your opportunity. You one moment. Yes. 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 Kill them. Youth Aropero, you're going to have to come back into the fight. Get that in phalanx quick enough. Good. What are you? Did they come back from routing? It's kind of shocking, really. 
These guys are going to be a bit tired. But we're going to have to get them into the fight straight away. Oh, we're done. We've killed them. Good. Let's go. I think we target the general. Got those guys fighting to the death now. Cool. I'm happy to let them fight to the death to start with, honestly. Right, you now come out. We don't want to fight that guy face, face to face. Let's come around this way. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits. Kill that Therapeut. Come on, guys, let's go. We need to kitch, attack them from all angles. Uh, and then our cavalry can clean up these boys. Kill that Therapeut. Poor guys are pretty exhausted now. Kill them. Come on, this should instantly rout them, surely. They're bloody archers. Uh, we're getting a bit shredded now. Uh, we're losing a lot of men in this, but it's fine. Get your charge off this way. Kill him. And he is on the left-hand side, so that charge should really do some damage to him. Let's go. Yeah, keep firing, boys. Keep firing. We've kind of surrounded him now. So once he's dead, I think all those guys are going to start running away. You along. Got some serious damage on these units now. So I think we go. I think we go north, and then we'll uh, take the settlement up north, and then. He's dead. Good. Yeah, I think going north and then uh, sending these guys, a lot of these guys back for retraining would be the best option we have right now. Let's come through. We'll start manually merging a few of them as well. But they're, they're faster than my goddamn cavalry, bro. Yeah, kill them all. We need someone a little bit faster for this. Uh, we'll also send you... Actually, no. No, don't. We'll send you here. Well, they're so slow. Come on. They should be pretty uh, upset now. They're fully surrounded. Go there. Oh, come on, boys. Surely you're faster than these guys. I know you're tired. But come on. Now we'll speed it up. Kill as many as you can of these. You guys go. Go, General, go. Go, General, go. You're not going to reach him, is he? Good, good. Yes, glorious victory. Oh, we killed so many. Well done. 119 for the bodyguard, 133 for the other bodyguard, 127 for the upper days, 120, 115, 115 for the archers. Wow. Some good results there. Good results. And we did sustain a bit of casualties. But well done. We got a lot of experience as well, so that's fantastic. Ah, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. That was great. Here we are, guys. And it looks like we didn't take the settlement fully, but that's fine. We did kill a lot of Egyptians there. Goddamn Ptolemies. I'll kill you. Ah. Oh. Well, great, great, great. Yep, let's see.
Hello? <laughs> uh, the free peoples. Done. Uh, I think then we will just auto resolve this. Sure. God, why are they there? Bro, go away. Okay, that should have destroyed them. So I think... We should go north. Leave an archer behind. Put you on that. Destroy this. Ah, it's a Greek town as well. That is fantastic. It's only a large town. The thing is, when we take Alexandria, I believe Alexandria is Greek. Yeah. So it should have a level 5 Greek colony. So as soon as we build our recruitment building, we can recruit everything from Alexandria. So maybe... How about Memphis? Memphis is Greek as well. Oh. Let's bring this spy back. Buildings do you have? Oh, I can't see. I'm sure they have good recruitment buildings. We could go straight for Memphis. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Is that the affection leader? No. Just a general and a governor. What do they have there? Libyan phalangites, which are actually really good. Um... Yeah, 22 melee attack. Very strong. But we should have enough to, to take that. And then we can recruit everything from here. We don't need to come all the way back this way. That'll be fantastic. Maybe not elephants, though. I don't, I don't think we can get elephants from Memphis. Hmm. I, I wonder whether we can get elephants down here or not. Doesn't look like a, I don't see any elephant markers on the map. But oh well, that's pretty good. Where's the ships? Ships? Oh, there they are. Let's come this way. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Go for Memphis now. Then we can recruit from here. We just need to build that recruitment building. And we stay in Memphis for a little bit. Take the storm that's going to be coming. Uh, yep, yeah, anyway, we are rioting in Baroya. We're on 70 now, so you shouldn't riot anymore. <sighs> Nothing else I can make, I can build that keeps them happy. Let's do that. Coming of age. Uh, you see in uh, Seleucia. Oh, all these places are going to have, uh, are going to have generals now. Any of these ones down here, like the big ones, not. Uruk does. Oh, Alexandria Charax doesn't. So where were you? Yeah, Alexandria Charax. Let's go. What about there? Oh, it does. Fantastic. Good to see. Good to see. Construction report. Arbella. Andrew Carter. Yes, here we are. We've built these now. It's made everyone a little bit unhappy. Can we build the archery range? And then Alexandria Ariane. Wait, wait, where's Alexandria Prosphasia? Oh, you're really far down. Alexandria Ariane, we build the city barracks. Oh, we've gone back up in money quite considerably now. That's quite good. I like that. Colonia, yeah, Babylon. We built that. It's already Greek in Babylon now. That's pretty good. Let's build the paved roads. And then Alexandria Susia, we built that as well. So we can start recruiting here as well. We just need a few recruitment hubs up there. Uh, and paved roads around this region. So we can actually move properly. I think we'll go for the paved roads there. And then... Uh, yeah, we'll leave Antioquia Marginite. Uh, but Bispautis, let's recruit a spy. Two spies. It's going to be the rest of our money, but oh well. And then over this way, yeah, like I say, Cappadocia is not being very aggressive. So, 
Let's get these boys across the sea. Hello, Cyprus. Nice to see you. Very good. Yes. <laughs> That's going to be a rich region for us. Same as all these islands, like the trade that we're going to get is going to be obscene. You can see they're all trading with each other, but this is going to add so many more trade routes. Five, uh, four cities here with ports. Plus five cities here with ports. So many more trade routes. So much more money. I don't know where to drop these guys off. We might go for uh, this settlement with these guys. I don't have a general, but that's fine. Go for Pelusian. And then there's uh, Tannis as well. They don't look like they've got big armies around them. So maybe I just do that. Maybe I just go for it. Oh, Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. We are coming to see you. Um, has he taken Equitana yet? No. I'm actually going to stand here so that we don't get dragged into the battle when he decides to uh, to trigger it. Now, is there anyone I can recruit here now that's worth it? No, it's just Peltasts. More Peltasts. Would be nice if we had a general up there so I can build some watchtowers and actually see what's going on. We have a general here, but he needs to be in there. Uh, yeah, we're building that, and then we're building that there. Yeah, cool. Well, that's fine. Slowly, slowly, slowly building up, but that is absolutely fine. We don't, we don't need to take. Don't need to be really quick. Oh, is there anywhere across here we can recruit Akontistai? Because we need some Akontistai to come onto the island. Thinking like here, can we recruit Akontistai? No, we can from. Antioch, though, so we will uh, we will do that. Now let's end the turn. See what happens. It's been a good episode again. Very good episode. Very happy uh, with how it's going. A bit annoying that Ekbatana rebelled. Like, quite annoying, but oh well. Um, Ekbatana is quite a key settlement, though. That is the one issue. Sardis is rioting now. Ah, goddamn Sardis. Sardis is just constantly a problem. And I, I, I don't know why... Uh, this is definitely anecdotal, but I always seem to think, even in vanilla, Sardis is like a massive problem. Yeah, where are you? You're over here. Um, Anywhere around here that doesn't have a guy? So, like, for example, these ones. We don't need guys in there anymore. I'll take, keep one, though. These... Like, these guys, like, they're costing a lot of money to be in there. Like, even though there's... Well, we need that one extra unit in that, that place. I think we'll send you to the end of the earth, to Chalcodon. Civil disorder, quite a few places. Oh, that's really quite... Quite low. And the problem is, there's nothing we can do. To make these guys happy, I'll recruit one more unit, though. Heropolis. They've gone back to being happy now. Um, <sighs> there must be something here that gives, like, 5% law or something. Oh, no. The, the barracks do. I didn't realize that. Oh, no, but it takes away the happiness. So, it's just a... A straight trade. I think we try and convert there because it's it's been such a problem. Thyatira. Thyatira. You're back to being happy, so we'll build a shrine to Hera. Chaos the Elders died. Oh, okay. Ladokia Lycos. Is there any way around here that we can move someone from? Oh, it's on very high tax rate. That's why it's so unhappy. Sardis is back to being fine. Good. Faction announcements. Most advanced faction is us now. Fantastic. Uh, we've built a few buildings. Good. Good. I've also neglected to see whether we have the recruitment buildings in these places. But it doesn't really matter.
you get in there. Then we can send you forward. Not that we're going to need you right now. And then I think... We will get this army off. And attack there. That'll be great. Uh, kind of need you to get back into the uh, port. Uh, you should actually come this way. And let's uh, attack Memphis. I think we'll fight it. I think we'll fight it. It's Memphis. It's the, it's the Ptolemy's capital. How could we not fight this? So let's go. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. This may be a good day to die, but it is a better one to live through. Let us have victory so we can tell your children tales of Greek courage and honor. Yes. The capital of the Ptolemies. How glorious a situation. Back. We'll get you guys. You're going to go up there. You can take them. You're going to go up that way. And we will have these just in case. But I don't think we're going to need them. It's raining again in the desert. How many times does it rain in the desert, bro? Well, I guess it's Memphis. It's not just the desert, but... Weird. Weird. Three battles in a row with rain, bro. Huh. I should have waited. Ah, I always forget to wait. So it's not a uh, rainy one. So I'm sorry about that, guys. It's my fault completely. Next time I will wait. But I, I, I'm just too excited to get into the battle. I just press on it straight away. Yeah, get up those towers. Get across there when you're done. You guys come this way. Then we'll come back this way. Get them being fired upon by their own towers. Go. Let's go. From here. But ideally here. You're taking them now. So get here. You can fire upon the enemy. And then we'll just fire as much as we can, as usual. Get some experience for our archers. Um. Halt. Halt. Now fire. Yeah, the Matroi Foroi are a decent unit, so I, I do want to kill them. As many of them as I can. Oh, they're getting shredded now. Poor guys. Poor guys. Absolutely shredded. If they send a general round, that'd be great. Please do that. Like I said, we should be able to um, retrain pretty much everyone. So I'm going to send these boys in. Let's go. Once all those Matroi 4 are dead, they might send someone else forward. Uh, maybe not. Can we, like, tempt them out by coming here? Do you have two generals, remember? Um... Talca Speeders, let's get you there. The Roperoi, let's get you behind them. You guys, let's get you here. And we're going to try and get them off the town square as usual. Take some ages to get down from the walls as usual. <laughs> and let's not forget to do that this time. Don't want you guys getting shredded. I think you'll be able to fire from that side. You might do a bit of friendly fire, but I'm not too bothered by that. So they're going to come after my guys. Good. Can I get that charge off? 
If I can get the charge off, that'd be fantastic. I'll rally my boys so that they don't, uh, they're not in the front line of the, uh, charge. Rally. Yeah, they're right, right at the back now. We should hit them on the left side where their general generally stands as well. So that should have reduced his, uh, hit points quite a bit. Okay, they're coming this way. Let's get these guys here. I also want my Thoroparoi to be firing into them. And get the Chalka Speedes there. We've got to the point now where we've pretty much killed them all. Don't want these Libyan Phalangites making too much of a, of a mess of us. So, quick, kill them quickly, and then we'll retreat. Quick, when I said kill them quickly, I mean, we're going to have to kill them all anyway, aren't we? So, let's retreat. Uh, we're probably going to have to fight these Libyan phalangites on the town square. So we'll kill them. I actually... I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you. Speed it up. We've not got long left, have we? Uh, and what we're going to do... Is get you boys over this way. You boys, we need to kill that single last general. Let's go. So go and kill him because you're not part of my plan. Now boys come over here. Now let's get here. Now let's uh, fire at will. So halt. Fire at will? Or not? You gonna fire at will? You don't want to. So they will charge after this, so I will have to uh, just do this. Once you've fired yours. Or will they charge, or will they just keep going? Nope, they will charge. Yep. <laughs> bit annoying that I have to go through this process. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't be such a mess. No, we'll use up the last of our jabbies. Halt. Now fire, and then you can charge. Your last few jabbies. As I said, the Libyan phalangites are decent. And then it's just going to be a grind fest to kill them all. Good phalangite action down here. Well, the capital of the Ptolemies, guys. What a blow. What a blow we have struck here in episode 10. To those fools. Those fools. Well, I'm so glad that we've struck that blow. They, they honestly are, they seem very undefended. They probably just can't sustain a large army. Uh, or, well, we do keep destroying armies they send at us, but the problem is that the, the makeup of it is pretty much all missile troops, so I think they're struggling to put together a proper army. It feels like it's, it's taken from garrisons a lot of the time. It's all just shit troops. Kill him. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's not working. Just fight them. They're out of phalanx now as well, so they'll be equally as bad. Come on, there's only two of them. There's only two. There's only one. Hey, there we are. The capital of the Ptolemies, boys. Fantastic. It is ours. Wait, how have I got... Oh, wait, no, I was reading it wrong. I was going to say. Ah, the capital, it's ours. Fantastic. Glorious. Glorious. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And, f yes, we have taken their capital. Ah, Great Pyramid nullifies the culture penalty effects of Egyptian buildings for non-Egyptian factions. That's actually fantastic as well. 
But most of these buildings are Greek. He's only got a third, a Greek colony three. Interesting. Well, that's the uh, level of this the city. Um, and doesn't have much in the way of recruitment options. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, it is fully Greek now. 100% Greek. I honestly think... Like, although this army is pretty damaged... I think... Merge those. Merge those. Merge those. Uh, I think that's just enough. So let's take our stronger troops. Because this is enough. This is 100% enough to take these cities. So let's go for now Kratis and Alexandria. Are they still happy? Just, just under. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, we captured the wonder. Very good. Uh, and then, yeah, I think this is enough to take Alexandria and that one. We'll take these two with this little army. We'll all reconvene at Memphis and then decide what we want to do. Because we will be sending an army down the Nile. Um, I also need to send an army across this way as well to take this one. Um, how are we ac across here? Yeah, good. Take Salamis. Yep. Not many in there, have they? Um, yeah, good. Good, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with where we are right now. Uh, very happy indeed. The only, oh, they did take Ekmatana. That is... That is a, a damned annoyance, is what that is. Uh, but oh well. Did we build the uh, recruitment stuff at Isonian? Not really. Uh, I yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's worth it building up so many of these as recruitment hubs. Could go for this one though as well. Good thing with the Bactrians is that they are also Greek. Oh hello, Bactria. You want a ceasefire now? Probably. I mean, if he does, we might go after Parthia. Because if we took Nisa, say, just like snuck Nisa, which doesn't have a uh, a wall, then these two large armies will retreat back to their, this region here, Charakata, which I believe doesn't. Oh, it does. It does border us. Ah, they still will be going for us. But oh well. Oh well. I think that's the option, though. I think we go and try and sneak Nisa off them. Just to annoy them. If we lose that army, that'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're doing quite well. Uh, let's see what we can build. Thinking potentially Antioch. Build an Agora there. Out this way. Let's keep building the paved roads in these regions. Uh, and then we're done with the building. <sighs> so glad we took Memphis. Oh, I need to build the rec uh, Seleucid recruitment first. Yeah, we need to cancel something I just built then. Where was it? Was it here? Yeah. Yeah, Seleucid recruitment first. They've got a little bit of an army coming up. But, oh well, it doesn't look too strong. I mean, we don't have a strong army defending, but uh, yeah, I, I think we'll I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I mean, if they take Memphis back, it's no too big an issue. But it's predominantly missile troops, so like that melee troops should be able to deal with them. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was good fun, wasn't it? Um, and yeah, leave a like and subscribe down below. That would be fantastic. That really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.